All right, so just to quickly kind of go through it. Uh, yes, I am kind of leading the, the development team now at VistaView. Um, a lot of you have kind of worked with me in different capacities. Um, we have developed these apps. I know Cody on the call has a suite of some apps that IPP has been using for several years now to improve their uh, internal processing for certain logistics and inventory transactions. Uh, as many of you probably are already aware of and complain quite frequently about is how cumbersome and inefficient the UI is in SAP by design uh, when confirming tasks related to inventory confirmations. Um, and so at Artec and at VistaView, we've kind of built a suite of applications to make that process you know, a lot easier. We've done this for quite a few customers, mainly our tech customers, but we have implemented this for um, new, newer customers as well. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to quickly show you what the capabilities and potential for these applications are um, and how useful they could be on your floors, like your production floors, your warehouse floors. But I want to kind of maybe throw in a caveat that um, I've stripped down a lot of the UI aspects of this app to make it simple. Um, I've kind of taken away customer information as well. But in terms of UI, if you can imagine the capabilities are, it can look and feel exactly how you want it to feel. For this demo, I, I just made it very simple. As you can see, there's a lot of white space here. It's very blank. You can add logos, you can add workflow rules, you can add buttons to do certain things. You can add a report to have KPI show. So the, the, the kind of possibilities there are, are very, very uh, high to make it custom. Uh, customized to your company and your users. Um, but essentially, this is one of the apps that we have. Uh, we have a similar app for production confirmations. We have a similar app for uh, outbound warehouse tasks and outbound deliveries. Same thing for inbound put away tasks. I'm just going to go through this, this movement app real quick. You went, I'm going to hit this confirm button to pull up the confirmation screen. So as you can see, in SAP's um, goods movement app, uh, SAP's goods movement transaction, you can do it under physical inventory, uh, sorry, internal logistics, goods movement. As you can see, it's quite cumbersome, right? Like you have all these fields, you have to add a row, you have to type in product IDs, um, you have to cycle through everything um, and, and kind of click, 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 hit next, click, click, click. In our app, we've kind of made it sim simpler. For this goods movement app, in the past, what we have also done is allowed users to build their goods movements in Excel and upload into the app via an upload button. So for example, next to this confirm button, there's an upload button where you just upload your um, list of um, transactions. But I'm gonna show you a confirmation real quick. So here we have this product ID. We have five of them um, at this site, at this logistics area ID. From my app, I can say, I wanna add you know, however many rows uh, if I'm doing, depending on the number of transactions I'm doing, um, I can type in or barcode scan in my um, logistics areas and I can scan in where I want to move it. I can scan product IDs. If there's a lot number, you can enter that. In. If not, you can skip it. But essentially, you can see that. Um, once I enter this basic information, I can just hit confirm. Um, and we, we have error logs as well that we can show um, to, to alert users of, um, you know, any, any issues that, um, that don't satisfy SAP's rules. So just because it's an app outside of SAP doesn't mean we still can't, um, you know, not follow the rules that SAP has put forward. But essentially, I'm just going to kind of repeat this. And then we can uh, type in C2. So I'm going to hit confirm on this. And then once this loads, uh, you'll see that I forgot to put in a site. So I'm going to put in a site there. Um, so this actually communicates with SAP. So once this finishes, you'll either get a successful or you'll get an error message to say that for some reason it aired out. But here we got a success. So SAP now, and I'm going to refresh this screen, and you'll see that I moved of those five, I moved four over from a 1,000. Um, 
And so that, that was kind of a simple transaction. Um, but if you can imagine how your business operates, this can app can be on an iPad, a tablet, a laptop on wheels, um, you know, even on your phone, anywhere um, within the network or on the internet where users can go around and quickly either scan in by a scanner or key in uh, by some, some key in. You can even have drop downs maintained here. That way, if you're doing goods movements or transactions that are extremely common, and from you know maybe one warehouse to another or one location to another, you can have fields hard coded. You can have logic that auto pulls in uh, information. You can have calculations. Um, you can have upload functionality from Excel. So I mean the the possibilities are are limitless in, in what you can do and how you can customize it for your specific business need. Um, you know for IPP for example, um, for Cody on the call we customize it exactly to how their business needs it. And maybe Cody you can you can talk up to how uh, how much efficiency and how much improvement in terms of data accuracy uh, errors that that we kind of uh, created for for you guys? Yeah, um, you and Samuel got it going really good for us. Um, we we were stuck with you know all the screens we had to click through and whatnot. It was very cumbersome. So we had them create a pick task app for us, a bill of lading app, a manifest uh, form, and the goods movement app. Um, so now we get the bill of lading sent to through the print manager. Um, that you can change the direction of that via the coding inside the uh, the log file that they provide. So if you have an issue with a certain printer, you can change it in the log, and it'll start printing the the task over there. Um, uh, it'll also send tracking information to the customer inside SAP, whatever the collaboration uh, is noted as. So it's just a couple of clicks, and we we get the order out, we get the pallet labels out, and the customer knows the tracking information, and they know the bill of lading and manifest. So. It, it's it speed up our whole process from production to warehouse to shipping um, very quickly.